Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to connect multiple floodlight controllers uh, with your Flowvisor. Uh, basically how you have to run multiple floodlight controllers and definitely I am assuming that you want to run it with Flowvisor because there is no other way that you can control them. So I wrote a really helpful guide uh, for that and you will find the link of the, um, this guide in the description in case you want to follow that so the first thing is that you have to open your terminal now the problem that uh, there is a small line or a few lines written on the forum that tells you how you can do this it's basically changing a few ports but the problem really occurs uh, because the port binding that has been done uh, in the floodlight gets involved with your flow visor ports so you start getting errors and things get difficult so you get confused at what I have to do so I figured it out and I wrote a good article on the fl uh, floodlight forum as well so first of all this uh, guide says that uh, restart your machine to clean up any previously used ports so this is because uh, if you are using any old ports so they get clean the next thing you type in your terminal net stat minus ntlp this will tell you any ports that have been used so far so double six three four fifty three fifty three double two six three one five three double two and six three one are being used right now so we will bind our floodlight controllers with the tools that are not currently being used now uh, as i'm doing it with flow visor i have to start a custom topology uh, for that i'm simply copying this and i will open up a new terminal this terminal i will paste this command and uh, make sure you download it from ons tutorial uh, it has already uh, this script present inside of it so i will type my password and the topology is running now you can minimize it step number four says make note of the new ports that have been consumed using netstand minus ltlp again i got four new switches output at these additional so netstat minus ntlp so you can see that new ports have been added double six three five double c uh, double six three six double six three seven so you can see that they were not present in the old one and these are the new ports uh, that have been consumed by the uh, open flow switches now let's go on to the fourth step which says using flow visor tutorial present at github slice network and stop when you define the flow final flow space i don't mean to run the beacon controller it will consume some port that will create hum headache using the following command separate each one by one so i will first copy it and uh, i will open up a new terminal in order to start flow visor and start controlling my network topology that i just started so here it is sorry actually what I did is I typed two commands at once so here I have this one start controlling that maybe I just made a mistake if this fails I'm gonna record the video again I'm running out of time basically okay I think things are working good leaving them empty I make sure that you know how to use the flow visor and if you don't know you can follow that in other video and then come and see that video thank you now I'm simply copying that big code pasting it here and make sure nine request IDs I get nine that's good step five is now make note of the new ports that have been consumed these are the important steps actually net stat minus ntlp so here what i get so you can see that the new ports are double six double three i guess so 8080 and 80 
81. Now these are the GUIs or the REST API of Floodlight. So we also can't use these. Now comes time to make changes in our file named uh, fallback C provider something like this and changing the hard binding code 6642 to another that is not consumed. This file can be found in the following directory. So I have to go there right now. Okay, I'm in my floodlight directory and I will directly open it. So for that I'm sudo get it and src main java org stn platform so i sync and internal config and then i will simply open this file for that i'm typing the name of the file pressing open so i've already changed it you have to move uh, down there and change it to some other port which is not be consumed as you saw before so I change it to double six five zero and uh, make sure you save it okay and make sure it will only be saved if you have opened it with sudo otherwise it will not so close it okay go to CD okay now do this with your second SDN uh, controller okay I forgot to mention one thing you have to make two copies of your uh, floodlight controller so I basically made two, I downloaded one and I just made two copies copied and pasted it again so I have got this one and I've got this one basically the same I just changed the no port numbers so similarly uh, repeat the same step just uh, uh, with this uh, second directory once it's done you have to change some another ports okay now what I have written that and everything just works fine uh, do with the other floodlight controllers as I said and yes don't forget the million dollars set that most people go back to our original floodlight directory in my case floodlight one and type sudo a and t in order to complete this newly edited file in floodlight one oh yeah this is important step go to floodlight one directory clear and floodlight one and type sudo ant this is to compile the code so that this new stuff that you wrote gets compiled after that but wait a second things are not done yet now remember another two million dollars step every time you want any system for like make sure minus cf along with it and putting the file into learning so, so it in my case it becomes sudo java okay so <clears throat> there is another thing that you have to change along with that so let us wait that it gets compiled I can skip this stuff in the recording uh, so in your case it will take some time mm, you have to do another thing you have to change another thing now once you changed it you have to run it with minus CF CF option so originally you run your third light controller like this but in this case you have to definitely you will should be inside your floodlight directory you have to run it with this minus cf, CF option and uh, then you can change learning switch property you have to make changes in your learning switch properties files as well so let us make changes in that let me go to floodlight controller run and then sudo get it uh, basically home assert light one source main main and resources learn learning so dot properties file and uh, these are basically the rest api ports and change this to the uh, port server that you want to use in the flow visor for example if you want to control a specific slice this is basically what you have to change uh, if you would know what is one triple zero one if you have followed my uh, uh, flow visor con uh, tutorial otherwise uh, go to the uh, uh, flow visor tutorial and make sure that you also change this big uh, port number as well so the last thing is that you have to basically So last thing is basically you sh simply have to run the controllers. Uh, I have uh, wrote these commands inside a special script 
and uh, I created a shell script and I am running from those uh, for you people I can just show you that what you have to type inside uh, your uh, controller basically display this is something I wrote this is basically a shell script that I wrote for just easing everything that I'm doing here and similarly inside your floodlight I wrote a can't floodlight sh1 this is what you have to type in the terminal so I wrote in, in inside of this and I added this line to create it make it a shell script this is easy so for you people I'm copying it from here and uh, let me move to the floodlight one okay and just uh, simply pasting it here and showing you that the floodlight controller is running you can see at the port number that I specified this is one triple zero one and you can see that it is now connecting towards with the switches of my mini net similarly I can run it run the other one again all I have to do is to simply paste this command here and again in this new terminal that I open make sure you change uh, this with floodlight 2 otherwise it will say you binding error so it's running on 1002 that was one running on 1001 this is running on 1002 and it's also getting connected I can open mininet to ping all and I can make sure that everything is so this is how I have designed the flow visor to let it just ping at 3 and not any other if you know what I mean if you know how to use flow visor so thank you very much this was enough for today's video if you have any questions regarding it you can ask me I think I tried to explain things well thank you very much